Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you the man we all been waiting on, the man of the hour, the Lone Ranger himself. Oh, he up in here tonight, <laughs> Mr. Dragon Blood. Dragon Blood. Dragon Blood. Good evening. You guys uh, new to OBS, even intermediate, you can learn something here tonight. And hopefully when you comment after the video, I can learn something from you. All right, let's go to your profile. Docs, profile, I want you to click on that. I want you to click add new. I need to see dragon, blood, and number one. I need you to not click the auto configuration wizard. This program is not plug and play, guys. I need you to click OK. I'm going to go ahead and close out. All right, so now you're going to be running the new Dragon Blood number one profile. Before we get started with the settings, let me show you something right here. We just did, we just did your profile, and that's going to that's going to save the settings that we're about to add here. Right here, you have scenes. If you want to change between your displays, you don't do it with your profile. You do it right here in Scenes, and it's very easy. I'm on my desktop now. We can have a look at the desktop properties. I am running Capture Method Windows 10, 1903 and up. If you're not running a Windows computer, Automatic will work fine. And here is my display, my primary monitor. Okay, let me cancel out of this. I am unable to show you the games capture without having the screen go black and you wouldn't be able to see it anyway, so I've got some pictures here to show you. Game capture. Games here, do you see this? All you have to do is click here. Desktop games, it'll switch right in between. them. When I go into a game, I click game capture, go in and capture the game. Desktop, desktop. Here is what you're going to see if you click on Game Capture Properties. Capture any full screen application. Okay, let's go to Settings. We're going to go right to Hotkeys. You guys are going to need at least these two hotkeys set up. For Start Recording, I have Shift R, Stop Recording, Shift S. I don't use a keyboard in game, I use, I use a game pad. So these settings work for me on the desktop and in game. You're going to need these hotkeys. Start recording, stop recording, pause recording, unpause recording. Okay, we're going to go to output. I'm going to go right to recording. This is only a recording video. Here is your recording path. All of you guys know how to set up a, a path. You can browse and set the folder that you want it to be in. Recording format, I do not recommend recording in MP4. NVIDIA recommends FLV, which if your computer shuts down, you lose power, you'll save your video, or MKV. If you are only recording one sound, just a mic, or just your desktop, or just a game, then you can have one audio track. If you are recording a mic and a desktop, you're going to have to have two audio tracks. There's no reason not to do it. Encoder. NVEC for NVIDIA. We are not rescaling output. I'll show you that here in a minute. Rate control, CQP, CQ level. I've run at lower levels. The file size was a little bigger. I haven't noticed any difference in the quality of the video going lower than 14. Keyframe interval seconds, 2. Presence, max quality, profile, high. I go with two and I have look ahead checked. Okay, we're going to go to audio. If you just have two sources, default, default. Okay, guys, I forgot something here. I need you to go back to output and audio. 320, track one, 320, track two. Let's go to audio here. Desktop audio, 48, stereo. Let's head to video. Whatever your monitor is, you want that right here. Base canvas resolution 2K, 
4K, you have to put it in here. You cannot change it. If you want to rescale your output resolution, if you're only running 1080p or even less, do not rescale this. Just copy your monitor. If you're running 2K and you're only producing videos in, in 1080p, scale it, scale it down to 1080p. Downscale filter, right here, the best you can use. You guys who have older computers, older systems, here is where you guys can save and not lose all that much quality in your video. Have a look at these settings. Try them and do some testing. Most of you are going to set this to 60. We're going to head down here to Advanced. Process Priority, Normal. Here is where you can have a look. Color Range. You can choose between Partial and Full. I've tested it on full. Basically, I do my testing in game. I didn't notice any difference. So I go ahead with partial. If you're creating videos with a lot of colors in them, diversity of color, I suspect that setting is going to be of interest to you. Try it. Check it out. Check it out on full. Advanced audio properties. Remember, we have two tracks desktop, mic. I want to see. Track 1 and Track 2 do not have any of these other tracks checked. Okay. Now, what I did here was I took this video. This has a different thumbnail, but it is the exact same video, and you're about to see that here in a second. I took this video here. I put it into Shotcut, and I exported it to MP4 using my export settings in Shotcut. Now, let's have a look at the file size. Let's have a look. One minute video, 698 megabytes. What do you think this one is? 96.6 .6 megabytes, exact same video. I'm going to be quiet. Shh, there's no audio. Tell me which one is which. Could you tell the difference between the 700 megabyte video and the 96 megabyte video? You guys, get Shotcut. It's free, free video editing software. It's easy to use. There are a lot of tutorials online. I'm going to be doing one, and I'm out. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments. If I didn't cover something you're interested in, let me know down in the comments. If you have suggestions for me and the folks who watch the video and read the comments please feel free to comment this is a community effort I am not all-knowing and I would absolutely love to hear your feedback and hopefully learn something from you you guys take it easy we'll see you next time yeah!